This video will show you what a group is, and how to create groups. A group is a collection of items of a finite element model that you want to keep together for some purpose. You can group sets of nodes, elements, and element faces together. We group regions of a finite element model for a number of reasons. As a new user, you will primarily create groups to apply loads or restraints. If you create groups with meaningful names, it will help you collaborate with others, and it makes it easy to review your models. Groups are useful for enabling the selection of simulation output. Some of these outputs could include reaction forces, contact forces, and, or displacements. Now let us create some groups in a model. Take for example, this flat cylindrical geometry that contains several holes. We want to apply load, A, to both the green colored holes, and the red colored holes. In contrast, we want to apply load B, to the yellow and purple colored holes. Instead of applying the load separately to each hole, we can create a group for the green and red holes, and another group for the yellow and purple holes. In 3D experience, we generally create groups after meshing the part. If we create groups prior to meshing, we may receive a warning message. Here we have started with a meshed abstraction shape of a part. We hide the mesh to make it easier to select geometries of the abstraction shape. To access the grouping tools, we go to the action bar located at the bottom of the screen and click on the group tab. Whenever possible, we want to create geometric groups because, geometric groups automatically update when we either change the design model, or update the mesh. We can select the regions that we want to group, prior to clicking on the geometric group icon. To do this, however, we need to hide the original geometry, leaving just the abstraction shape. In this case, we select both the green and red holes using the abstraction shape, and then click on the geometric group icon. We have the option to change the name of the group. We enter, load, a, geometric. We must also select an entity type. In this case, we select, node. If we wanted to apply a pressure, we would select element face as the entity type. We click on OK. We follow the same process to create the second group for the yellow and purple holes. Once we have defined all of our groups, we click on the update icon. This maps the finite element entities to the geometry that we selected. Now that we have created some geometric groups, let us talk a little about a couple of other group types. A proximity group captures the finite element entities within a specified distance from the selected geometry. A spatial group captures the finite element entities that lie within a specified rectangular box or sphere.